Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocket League Trading Prices. Today, we are going to look into what you can do to keep making profit through market crashes. Before we get started, if you're ever looking for some discounted Rocket League items and credits for much cheaper than the item shop, head over to Arbel Exchange. They offer the most reliable place to buy loads of different tradable items like Phoenix, White Dracos and even Alpha Caps. They can deliver items to any platform and you can pay with loads of different payment methods. And with a 5 star Trustpilot rating, they are sure to have any items you could want. Check out RL Exchange from the link in the description and use code RLTP at checkout to get 3% off every purchase. A lot of you have probably noticed that the Rocket League market isn't doing the best at the moment, but what can you do to keep making lots of profit? The first and most straightforward tip I can give is just to keep going. This is obviously because you need to trade to make profit, but also because if you are quite an active trader that buys and sells lots of different items even when the market isn't the best, people are going to start recognising your name and you'll build up a good reputation. This is important because say there's you and 10 other active people offering the same price for a specific item, but the difference is you're well known, the same people may have traded with you multiple times, and you might even have an RL Garage badge which we will talk about more later in the video. People are going to be more drawn into you because they know you're easy to trade with, quick and they can rely on you more than others. And the more you trade with people, the more people will recognise you, and the more trades you'll get. This will also help you out when the market does recover too, because if more people start coming back into trading, then there will be more people posting offers. But if you have a good reputation, that already sets you above all those traders. Usually, during a market crash, item prices tend to drop. At the moment, the only items that have dropped significantly are any that have been brought back into Twitch drops, from previous seasons, like of course the June races. But we have definitely seen items like the White Octane, Dominus, Fennec, Zombas and Mainframe all decrease at some point because of a market crash, and when things start getting better they often rise back up to the price they were before. Therefore, making investments is a great way of making profit in market crashes, because once it's over those investments have a good chance of rising. As far as I can find, no items have dropped badly yet, but of course we will keep you updated and let you know if any good investments come up. So I just briefly mentioned Rocket League Garage Badges. I have spoken about these in a video not too long ago, but I know a lot of people don't know what these are so this should be helpful. When you first download RL Garage, you sign up for free and get the same permissions as most other people. However, you can pay just £2.25 a month to get the RL Garage Plus Membership. This will give you a premium member badge which will make your profile stand out compared to others. This means more people will be attracted to your trades and you will get more offers. This also comes with lots of other different perks and you can pay more money for things like auto reply, auto trade bumping and highlighted trades which can be very helpful. And they're all things that can help you build that reputation and keep making profit whilst other people may struggle. You could even pay for the membership by selling some Rocket League credits or items that you get from making all this profit. Another thing you want to be doing is keeping track of updates that may be coming to the game, as in new bundles like the BMW or things coming to the item shop. We will use the leaked white octane in the shop as an example. If you didn't know, it was announced that the white octane will be in the shop in January which means you definitely don't want to own a white octane at that time because you will probably lose around 8,000 credits from it dropping. But this is also likely to cause a market crash, so before that item shop is released you want to be selling any expensive items you own because credit demand will go up and item prices will go down. That is why knowing what features may be coming to the game is one of the best things to do because it will give you a head start on knowing what may happen to the market so you can either get rid of all your items before all the panic sets in, or make investments early before the items start rising. Honestly, if you're not too interested in trading at the moment and you're taking a break, I would recommend selling your items and getting some money. It is likely whatever you own may drop in price and won't be worth as much when you go back to the game, so selling things now means you'll get as much money as possible. If you would like some further help on anything, join our Discord server from the link in the description and either me or any of the experienced traders we have on there will help you out. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful, 
leaving a like and subscribing is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help us out, using code RLTPRICES in the item shop will get you some free ice cream and brownies.